welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to display rewarded ads in react native's new architecture without using any third party library so if you don't know what rewarded ad is so it is something like you ask the user to watch an ad and once the user has finished watching an ad you will reward the user with something like if it is a game you will reward him with some game coins etc those kind of stuff so i will first show you the output so i'll also show my console of xcode because i want to show you that reward which uh, the user gets once he has finished watching the ad so i just have a button and the ad does take some time to load uh, like google ads do take some time to load so i am uh, once the ad has loaded i am sending that uh, a callback or a, uh, the ad has been loaded callback to react native again then only this button will be able to show the ad okay now i will click on this button do pay uh, attention to this console as well like this is a test ad okay and i think the reward was granted so i will just close it so if you see over somewhere over here yeah so he, here you can see a reward of amount 10 was granted now I will also show you how to configure this reward amount later on uh, via uh, Google AdMob console. So do watch that as well. So yeah, let's get started. The out uh, the demo is very similar for Android as well. That's why I'm not showing it for Android. Uh, this should work for both Android and iOS. So yeah, let's get started. So first, I will be following this new architecture doc. I will be copying a lot of code from this, so it's better to keep this doc handy. So first. To enable the new architecture for android you have to search for new arc enabled it will be present inside android gradle dot properties so if you see i have already made this true next for ios you will have to open your terminal cd to your ios directory and then run this command so this will enable the new architecture for ios next we will be making use of turbo native module so i will be copying a lot of code from this so first what you will have to do is also make sure you are updating the kotlin version to 1.8.20 at least uh, yeah for in android build.gradle next we will create a folder called rtn my rewarded you can name this folder anything which you want but be consistent with the naming uh, and how the documentation has specified next we will create a package.json file this i have just copy pasted it from the docs only thing changed is this name over here this name over here this name and this package name everything else remains the same next i have created a podspec file again i have copy pasted this from docs the only thing that has been changed is this name over here next you will have to create a js folder inside that you will have to create a typescript file with name of native my rewarded add.ts again i have copy pasted this from docs <coughs> the only thing that has been changed is this method name as well as this name over here next go to android go to build.gradle again i have copy pasted everything from the docs only thing which i have changed is this apply plugin kotlin android because i want to use kotlin there i have added change this namespace as well and here i have uh, added implementation of kotlin standard lib and we also require this google play add dependency so i have added this as well next you will have to go to src create a file called uh, create all these folders be in java com this should be your folder name whatever you have given over here in small case and here again i have copy pasted this from docs only the package name has been changed this name has been changed and this has been changed over here over here over here and over here everything else remains the same and over here as well next you have to create an add module dot kt file so here where the actual actual implementation will come come about so here again i have copy pasted this from docs okay once you copy paste this from docs you can also copy these imports as well now we will go to the documentation of admob so here it tells that we have to add this dependency we have already added this dependency to our turbo module but we also need to add this to our main android's build.gradle file as well so go to android build.gradle sorry not this this app build.gradle and here you can add this dependency this one the reason why we are adding it over here as well because we want to initialize the add sdk as soon as our app loads so here first 
we also need to add this metadata tag and instead of this xx xx y y y y you can copy paste this this is a test id later on i will show you how to create production id as well so go to your android manifest main android manifest and here you can see i have copy pasted this code also copy paste these two bits of codes if you see these two bits of codes you will have to go to this optimize optimize initialization and add loading so here you can see that they have specified uh, you can opt because these ads are loaded on the main thread you can't use a background thread for this so i have also added those next to initialize our google ads sdk you have to copy this bit of code and i went to our java main activity dot kt i have overridden this on create method and inside that i have added this bit of code as well next we will go to implement rewarded ads and here you can see we have to add this rewarded ad so now we will again go back to our turbo module so here you can see i have added this next uh, we have to add this bit of code like it is requesting our requesting the ad and here again this is a test id later on uh, make sure you replace it with production id as well and i will show you that uh, so here you can see on the main thread i'm loading as soon as this module is initialized i'm loading the ad request and i'm copying this as well now once the ad has been successfully loaded i'm sending a call back to the react native side okay this ad has been loaded now you can press the button also if you want now there is some server side verification as well which i couldn't really understand uh, but if you want you can add it like i'm not sure what this is what the use for this is next i have also added this callbacks so if you see over here so if you want to know when the ad has been clicked when the ad has been dismissed when the ad has failed to show those kind of things you can log it over here as well next to display the ad we are just overriding this show rewarded ad method which we have written in inside our typescript file and i have just copy pasted this over here as well and you also have to add this rtmi rewarded ad okay so this is set up for android now you have to do code generation so what you will have to do is open your terminal go to the root of your react native project first run this so this should be your folder name okay then you will have to do cd dot dot it will move you outside your react native project all these steps are written in the documentation of turbo models so if you are confused do check that documentation next you will have to run this command but here make sure you replace rnap2 with your own project name my project name is rnap2 that's why i'm using it over here over here as well as over here and this is the folder which we have created next you will have to cd to android run this command the cd to the main android folder okay in terminal then cd to ios and then run this command okay so that should generate code generation for android as well as for ios uh next what you will have to do go to ios folder go to pod file and here you will have to add this pod as well because this is required for as a dependency for google mobile ads then again cd to ios and don't just run pod install because pod install is for old architecture for new new architecture you will again have to run this command so this will install the dependency for your ios project as well and inside before uh, looking into the ios implementation i will show you the javascript code as well so here you can see i'm just taking a button and on click of it i'm just calling this method and here you can see i'm importing it something like this and here i'm just checking whether the ad has been loaded or not okay so if you want you can add this check over here as well if is ad loaded then only click on this button but i'm not using it you can use it or you can disable the button till the is ad loaded is equal to false is equal to or uh, disable it yeah if it if it is equal to false if it is equal to true then you can enable them now this use effect is used for android so if you remember i was sending that data once the ad has been loaded i'm sending this result so i'm observing it over here and i'm changing it now for the reward amount as well once the user has finished watching it here you can see you will get the reward amount which you have set it inside a google ad mob and i'm just uh, displaying a toast message as well as i'm sending it back as well 
okay so here i'm here we are getting that amount okay and here we are removing our listener next for ios as well i am registering this event emitter so here you can see i have defined our event emitter and these are imported from react native as well and once the ad has been loaded i am setting it to true now because i am using objective c i am not able to pass a boolean value directly that's why i am passing it something like this yes from the react Na from the native side so but you can change this minor logic according to your own convenience okay now let's go to ios so first documentation so I, we have already done this okay next this thing is already present in react native project so if you see go to this go to your app go to rnf2 in go to build settings search for other linker flags and here uh, their dash objc is already present okay so we don't need to add this next we have to update our info.plist and if you see in this array there are multiple network identifier which are present we don't need to use all of this i'm just using this which is from google but if you are curious what these are for you can just go to this link but we will copy this bit of code okay make sure you close this array as well so if you see my info.plist i will open it as a source code here you can see i have added it identifier as well as our SKAD networks and this is from google next we have to initialize our mobile app hdk now firstly what we will have to do is uh, yeah we will first initialize our mobile app hdk now uh, react native follows objective c plus plus and not objective c so you will have to refactor this bit of code as well as this bit of code a little bit so see here you will have to import it something like this and you will have to use it something like this now our google ads has been initialized next i have created this event emitter class i have copy pasted this from stack overflow so create a header class for this as well as an objective c class for this like this will help us to send data from uh, native ios to react native side next you will have to create another header file with the folder name which we had created so this one again this has been copied from docs and uh, only change is this name over here this name over here and here we are importing google mobile ads because we want to create a variable for our gad uh, rewarded ads and i am also implement extending this which i will show you in a bit but this has been copied from docs only this names has been changed according to your folder name now we will go over here now there are two buttons both of them point to the same url i think they did a mistake or they might be forgot to remove these buttons but anyways to click on any button it points to the same url here again we will uh, use this but we will change our bit of code because you are using objective c plus plus so make sure create this file as well uh, change the extension to dot mm create an objective c file change the extension to dot mm here again i have uh, first i will show you what i have copied from turbo modules documentation so this has been copied this has been copied only names has been changed this has been copied only names has been changed this name okay and here i am overriding our show rewarded add method okay and here you have to end our object to see call now if you see we have already defined this property non atomic inside the header file over here okay next we want to show uh, load our request so if you see over here as soon as this module is initialized i am calling this initialize interstitial ad and here i have copy pasted all the code and once the ad has been loaded i am sending the call back as a yes to react native side next here you can see uh, this uh, they have uh, again i am not really sure about this validation of server side logic so i have skipped this and here as you can see we have already implemented this in the header file which you can see over here which will help us to add this bit of code which we have already added so if you see over here and you can also help it will help us to implement all these callbacks so you, if you want you can handle these callbacks according to your convenience and now to show the ad we just have to write something like this so if you see i'm written writing it something like this 
but uh, this also requires an um, like an uh, it requires a what do you say a uh, reference uh, to this view controller that's why i have to write this bit of logic as well and once you get the reward if from that you can get the amount which i'm just logging it to the console but you can send it to react native side just like how we are sending this so yeah i think that should be it hope so is there yeah that's it thank you for watching bye production add units you can just go to google ad mob create an uh, app so just click on add app so i don't have an app deployed on the play store so select android i don't have the app on play store yet so i'll just click on no click continue i don't know i'll give some name called third app i guess and i'll just click on add app then click on done and over here you can just select uh, add add unit and here you can just select rewarded and here you can give some name i don't know uh, um, my ad or something and here uh, you can enter the reward amount as well how much reward settings you want to do and click on create ad unit and it will give you all that uh, so these are the production ad units so you have to replace this inside your manifest as well as inside your uh, main file uh, then click on done and if you want to link your app i think you can go to app settings and here you can just click on add and uh, add those uh, search for your app on the google play store so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye to register your ios app on google ad mob for rewarded ads what you will have to do go, go to google ad mobs sign in with your account then go to apps and here you can just click on add app and here i will just add another ios app so i don't have my app uh, deployed on uh, app app apple app store so i will just click on ios over here if the app is not listed click continue i will give some name uh, i don't know fourth ios app i guess uh, and click on add app then i will click on done next what you will have to do is uh, you have to click on add add unit uh, select uh, rewarded and here you will give some name uh, i don't know rewarded ads and here you can enter the amount so if you remember in my video i was showing you you get some amount uh, reward amount after you have watched the video so here you can enter the amount which the user will get and if you want you can go to the advanced settings as well if you want so i'll keep it simple i'll click on create ad unit and these are your uh, production ads so just replace this in your code then thank you for watching bye what is you will have to link your ad uh, like app uh, to google ad mob once you have deployed your app to apple app store so just go to app settings and uh, here you can just uh, click on uh, this add button and you can add those add the search your app and add it to uh, add mop so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye